Dispatches from Kiev, Ukraine, provided by Forbes Ukraine's editorial team. As Russia's attack on Ukraine continues and the war rages on, reliable sources of information are critical. Forbes Ukraine's reporters will continue to gather information and provide updates on the situation. We will be sharing them here as they come. Live coverage from Forbes Ukraine's site can be found here. 10 a.m. EST, 5 p.m. Kiev time. Ukraine and Russia have agreed to talks without any preconditions on Ukrainian Belarusian border put in order to place nuclear forces on Alert Maria, also known as Antonov An-225, the world's largest strategic aircraft, designed in Ukraine, has been destroyed during the battle at Hostomol Airport, in K. Pro-Russian MP of Ukraine Viktor Medvedchuk, known for being close to Putin, escaped from his house arrest. 7 colon MESD slash 2 colon OOPM. Kiev time Kiev and all regional centers are under the control of the Ukrainian army. Vladimir Zelensky, Ukraine has officially filed a lawsuit against Russia at the UN International Court of Justice in The Hague. We demand that Russia be held accountable for distorting the concept of genocide to justify aggression. We ask the court to immediately order Russia to cease hostilities and schedule a hearing next week, the lawsuit says. The Ukrainian defenders with the Bayraktar weapon blew up a column of enemy equipment in the Kherson region, according to a video by the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzny. 4 a.m. EST 11 a.m. Kiev time. By Darren Antoniuk during the curfew in Kiev, which will last until 8 a.m. February 28, passengers of Ukraine's state railway Ukraksalisnitsia are not allowed to leave the train station in Kiev. Nearly 600 people are now at the central railway station in Kiev, waiting for their trains or hiding from bombs. Ukraksalisnitsia, the Ukrainian railway, supplies them with water and food, but stocks are running low. The Russian delegation arrived in Belarus for talks with Ukraine. President Zelensky said that Ukraine would agree to talk in any city from which missiles are not flying, such as Warsaw, Bratislava, Budapest, Istanbul but not in Minsk. Zelensky suggested meeting in Warsaw, Bratislava, Budapest, Istanbul, or Baku instead. There will be no representatives of Ukraine at the so-called talks in Gomal, Belarus said Zelensky's spokesman Serhi Nikiforov. We discussed that, but at the last moment, Russia demanded that the Ukrainian army had to lay down its arms first, he said. Ukrainian military blew up a bridge between the cities of Bukha and Irpin and Kiev Oblast to slow down Russian troops, 